In 100 days of vanilla Minecraft, we're going to do, well, basically everything. Build a cool house, defeat the Ender Dragon, make an insane villager trading hall, and get fully enchanted netherite gear. We'll kill the Wither six times, and then resurrect the Ender Dragon, and you know what? We're gonna kill it again. We're gonna kill all three Elder Guardians in an ocean monument, and finally craft a sextuple beacon. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh man, this is a sick world. Now, we don't have any time to lose. Like all great Minecraft videos, we must start with wood, the table, sticks, and a pick. Next, we have the pick, the axe, and the shovel. Oh, we got some coal right here. Get some resources going. These pigs are mine. We'll get that cooking, and I see iron. So, I can safely head on down. Wow, this is actually a really strong start. Whoa, my god, that's not so strong. That's not so strong. I did not see that cave. It's worth the risk. Oh, this is scary. A skeleton. Could really quickly kill us right now. <laughs> okay, halfway through the day. Oh, we need the coal. So much coal. It was a risky start. Fortunately, with high risk comes high reward. Ah, let's get a snack. And let's get this iron cooking up. Get some more wood. Some more pigs. I think we need the food right now. So sorry, guys. I see something I need. Those are sheep. Oh, we gotta be quick. Okay, new crafting table. Straight to bed. Back to our place, and there is our iron. Perfectly done. So, we're gonna build a shield, chest plate, leggings, one iron pick. And honestly, as much as I like this place as beautiful as I think it is, we're gonna continue on. There's a lot out there for us, and we gotta make it as efficient as possible. I believe I see a shipwreck. This seems like a very inconvenient shipwreck to dig out. Oh, wow, okay, 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 never mind, I take it back. Wow, that was fast. Beautiful. We have some paper, very treasure map, and we will be on our way. I feel like this is actually a fairly rare biome. I am going to build a iron axe, and you know what? It's getting dark. We'll sleep ASAP, and let's get a lot of wood. That is fantastic. Now let's continue on. See, it's some plains over here, and there is a village. Now it doesn't look huge, but it is a village nonetheless. I would say this is the biggest building. The goal right now is gonna be to get full diamond gear from this village, so we may as well make this at least a little bit hospitable. Actually gonna place one of these guys down right now. Do torches, and we can go ahead and make the area just a little safer. Ooh, a book. We'll use that for an enchanting table. We actually have a Fletcher right here, which is really hype. That means we have a fletching table right here. We can grab some hay. Ooh, okay, that's enough hay. Our first fight. Get wrecked, and good night. Now, I had been hoping for a blast furnace. Uh, fletchy table's good, but I need some more iron. Oh, it looks like we have a bit of iron right here. So we can get this cooking, make another furnace, turn three stone into smooth stone, and there you have one blast furnace. And here we have, wow, that's perfect, one, uh, one armorer. Let's take our spruce logs, break them down, turn them into sticks. And we can sell these sticks off to this guy. And then we can use these to buy an iron helmet and iron boots. So there we go, we're fully stocked up. But I'm looking for diamond gear right now, so we've got a ways to go. There's a giant forest over here. So yeah, let's get it going. As we finish this tree, our ax is about to break. But that's the end of our day anyway. Hey buddy, need you to come with me, sir. Beautiful. So really crazy, but uh, our other Fletcher just magically disappeared. Now this guy is gonna sell me some sticks, so it's no big deal. Now, next play, I'm going to just buy this guy up, but we're not quite there. He's gonna restock for me though. Ooh, and with these crazy deals, there is a level up. This should also be easy, level up. Anyway, this means it is now time to grind some trees. Oh wow, that's pretty good. One way up is like over a stack of log. Well, it ain't much, but not a bad day. Oh, hello, my people. Got sticks for you and buys for this guy. Now, this should be it. A very big moment for us. There is the diamond gear. So next day, now that this guy's had a day, he should be up for more sticks. That will be diamond gear piece number one. And dang, we're one short. Okay, here's some gravel, flint. And there we go. We need a second fletching table. And this is a lad who will buy some sticks. And ladies and gentlemen, there's our second piece of diamond gear. Put these nice things on. And okay, we'll resume on some sticks, some spicy trades. 
Next, we should be able to get this guy leveled up. And there is a diamond chest plate. We'll sleep it off. We'll chop down this tree. This guy should be good to trade. There we have our diamond helmet, which is gonna give us full diamond gear. It's not great gear, but we're gonna be safe from skeletons. So we need a bit more iron. Beautiful. Also gonna grab the rest of the hay in this village. At this point, it's probably faster to just go and try to find the things we need. So at long last, it's down into the depths for us. So we are looking for iron. Ah, this is the cave we're looking for. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I am trying to speed things. That makes it faster. We are at Y negative 19. I'm gonna risk this and look for some diamonds. Okay, we've got a bit of gold, but it's not gold we're after right now. In fairness, this is a lot of gold. <laughs> Other thing I'm looking for is water. Oh, oh, there we have it. Well, not the blue we absolutely want. This is definitely something we're looking for. It's gotta be diamond in here somewhere. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We got a bit of a spicy looking vein here. Let's, what do we got? Four, five, that's pretty good. Beautiful. So now we just need lava. Like there's bits and pieces, but we want a pool. Yeah, we definitely have to go lower for lava lakes. Oh, whoa, man, this is so cool. See diamonds. Oh, nice. Okay, so now for the tricky part. That should be it. Nice, gosh dang it. <laughs> Oh wait, 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 I know what we can do. We don't need gravel. We can just put some wood over it. That should light it up. So in case you were wondering, we are off to the nether. Nice. We wanna get blaze rods and ender pearls so we can deal with that pesky ender dragon. Just the sword for now. I've never seen that. Oh my God, what a spawn. Okay. Well, this is actually gonna save us a lot of time. That is assuming I don't die. Okay, moment of truth. <laughs> Why did I do that? By the way, if you're liking this video, you should subscribe. We only upload once a month and it's always a banger. Is this really what we want to be doing? I think at the very least we should put on some shoes. I'm also gonna make a golden apple cause I'm feeling a little nervous. Okay, I definitely hear some brutes. Yeah, okay, this is not too bad. A lot of mad pigs in here, but <laughs> that's it. Nice, this could be big. Rip. <laughs> we got another block of iron, and I actually think that is like it. Fire aspect, rip. Well, that is pretty sad, honestly. Oh, and a golden apple. Block of gold. You know, this is embarrassing. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's like for, for compasses and stuff. Okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. Okay, that's where we're trying to get. This is all just a really complicated way to get ender pearls. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I won't lie, this is very scary. <laughs> but man, oh man, is it. Oh. Oh. No. No, get out of here. Oh my god, the gold. That is fantastic. All right, what's up, guys? Okay, so we got one lad in. Should make two. Hey. Oh, these guys are coming in clutch. We've got one potion of fire resistance. Hey. Dude, I'm getting some dream luck. Okay, so we've got enough obsidian to leave whenever. And I just want a few more pearls. I know I have a lot more gold, but... Perhaps we'll just leave it there. That was good, but I'm now ready to get the heck out of here. Because guys, we're basically ready to fight the Ender Dragon. <laughs> okay, I think we'll just suck it up. There's the diamond. Wow, okay, this is not easy. Uh. <laughs> oh, nice. Top five things you love to see. I hear a blaze. Well, there we are. There is our first blaze rod. Drink the potion. Nice. Oh, why you gotta come in here, dog? Can you just leave, please, and thank you? Okay, there's seven. 12 seconds of fire resistance, please be eight. Dang it, what are these odds? Yes, okay, there's eight, we're out. We should probably explore, but like I really don't know if there's that whole chest section to this place. Don't doubt the nether fortress, there's a chest armor, sure. Well, diamond horse armor and a saddle is pretty good. We'll want nether wart and three diamonds. And two more diamonds, nice. Call it there. Uh, so I strategically brought and got obsidian. Nice, just want one piece of lava so I can get out of here. There, no, no, dang it, I got scared. Got it, yay. I hope that this works in the nether. There we go, oh, wow, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna leave though. Ah, we are in a jungle. Oh, it is just becoming night, sick. 
that's what I, I love. That was quite the journey. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna be on my way. Let's make two eyes. Given that we are minus 5,000, See where we need to go. Okay. Let's go find us a stronghold. Whoa. Let's throw a pearl. Okay. We are nice. Getting closer. All right. I'll go for it. Okay. I don't really know, but we're kind of low on ender pearls. So I'm just going to start digging. I am going to mine towards the mobs. I'm great. Hello. Okay. So apparently strongholds are actually way, way lower in 1.18. I'm just gonna continue on from where I was originally digging. Yeah, see, we're only at Y32, and this is actually the first time I found a stronghold in 1.18, so I didn't know. This is where the doubt starts to set it in. Man, I was right from the start. If I had it just trusted my gut. Oh, whoa, diamonds. <laughs> Hello. And a pearl. Okay, so here's our library. Ah, protection three. Okay, we gotta be close. There it is. Oh, and it's a three. Oh, easy. Nice. Okay, so we're looking for obsidian. Okay, now we still have the book we've been carrying like all game, which I've been hanging on to for an enchanting table. There's 30. Protection three on the helmet. We'll do that. And I'm breaking. Nice. Go ahead make an anvil. We'll get unbreaking three on these. There's fire protection. And then on our leggings, we can simply do protection three. That's like ready, you know? Also efficiency three and sharpness one. All right, so I'm gonna take all these books. There's our blaze powder. We need one, two, three, four. We need eight. That's amazing. Okay, so just heading back up to the surface for a sec. I need some glass. Okay, so we take our glass, make bottles, and actually make a brewing stand. And there's three potions to slow fall. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go get us an Ender Dragon. Ah, uh, yes, the old island troll. All right, want to watch me beat the Ender Dragon? Haha! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, 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 oh man! Okay, that was scary. Shout out to water. I love water. I think I'll eat an apple. Anyway, where were we? Oh, not done. Let's wrap this up. Oh yeah, we're gonna end this. I think we're just gonna do this with an old fashioned sword. There it is. Oh, not much. Just beat the Ender Dragon. Well, I'm just gonna leave things I don't need here. We'll obviously collect all our XP. The big reason that I wanted to beat the game so quickly, this way we don't have to put any more time than we need to into getting near perfect gear. Hey, nice. So no end city in the immediate vicinity. Oh, that's it. Okay, we gotta yeet across here. Yeet across here. Bully an Enderman. Bully another Enderman. Make some more bread. Oh no, this looks very small. This might be the smallest end city I've ever seen. And yet here we are. Oh, here we go. Perhaps we could get a shulker box. Okay, we came all this way for gold. That's a sick shovel. That's a good pick. That's silk touch. But overall, I am very sad right now. <gasps> there we go. Okay, blast protection for mending. We have two shulker shells. It's not a bad sword. There's a shulker shell. Another, there's another. Okay, well, that's everything. I'm just gonna head out because we don't have an elytra. You're stupid and lame and I'll see you later. We're gonna try going this way. Oh my God. Still no ship, but it's really close. Oh my God. There's two. And this one also has a ship. Dude, why didn't I go this way? The irony is that I could already have cracked gear by the time we've got here. Okay, pretty good pick. And up and up we go. Oh, wow. Right, let's make ourselves a shulker box. Just put everything in there. And here we have a helmet. Another mending shovel. Section three. Not really getting what I had hoped for so far. Ooh, lots of diamonds. Ooh. Oh, thank God. Thank God we got something decent. Oh, finally, ladies and gentlemen, there's our elytra. And not much in here, but a bunch of diamonds. <laughs> See what we can do over here. Oh, we finally get a mending sword, but it has Bane of Arthropods. We've done three of these. And I don't know, we got good gear. It, 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 it's not the best, but I think it's time I I accept my fate and uh, head on back. We'll head on down and get out of here. Anyway, at the end of the day, we did get an elytra and you know, that's what's important. And we're back. Let's grab our things. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, wow. 
Oh my god, we're back to our spawn. Oh, my bed's never placed. That's incredible. I really thought this was a neat area. Dude, I, I like this area a lot. I think I might just decide to call this home. Day 17, pretty much fully set gear and yeah. It's also not like we didn't get anything good. So I'm just gonna take some time to clear this out. By the way, if I take blue dye, I can dye my shulker boxes. Oh, I've never done this before. So cool. Anyway, we have two really good shovels, but one has mending, so I'm gonna hold on to that. I'll use this one for now. Did you just absolutely devastate the land. Also, hi there. Hey. All right, we got a horse. Do one more layer of clearing. Cool, this looks good. I also seem to have completely run out of wood. Wow, so it really feels like we're just starting all over again, huh? Except, you know, give or take the nearly perfect diamond enchanted armor. Ah, uh, yes, the crafting table. So this time I'm gonna make a diamond ax. And now we are going to head back to that village. I'd love to use an elytra, but sadly no fireworks. Well, hello there. It's been a while. My single diamond. So I'm here for my things. These beds as well. And uh, this lucky Fletcher. And we are off. All right, and here we are. I'm gonna get some big trees planted right away. I straight up don't even have wood for this guy. Subtle thing, but something I've come to find that I hate in Minecraft is actually being on a hill. I'm just remembering, like just having to walk up it all the time. I don't like it. It's a whole lot easier to dig out dirt than it is to place it. Ah, beautiful. You know, it's really weird being this far into the game and not even having shelter. <laughs> like sure, yeah, I'm not gonna die, but uh, these monsters are annoying. Okay, I'ma cover my man over and we are going to get ourselves. Another villager, and here we are. I actually want a cartographer. Now this guy is gonna be an absolute lad. Yes. Regardless of how bad it looks, this marks the official start of our village. Okay, I need a house, so I'm just gonna chop some trees. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's build ourselves a house. Sorry, but I need to sleep. Okay, now we can clear. This looks like a good place to start. Gonna get some glass cooking up. And hey, it's a starter home. So we're just gonna, uh, you know, begin with the basics. So this outline looks large, but I like it. Gonna do slabs. So that's something of a floor. All right, so that's the vibe for the edges. And next, we're gonna fill this up with glass. I like the vibe of it going all the way down to the floor, but I'm not sure if I want glass blocks. You know, if it's here, kinda need glass blocks. But around the edges, maybe we'll do paints. And here is our giant circular hut. I think this has potential. So storage, I think, will look best over here like that. Okay, so that is storage dealt with. The very next thing I wanna do is make some bookshelves. Now, I feel like the enchanting table sits over here pretty nicely. Yeah, looks nice and symmetrical, and I, I don't think it takes up too much space. We can put our other things right there, and I should have made a roof. I would like to try to enchant some armor. Like, we can grind down one pair of diamond leggings, and we go for an enchant, and I already have protection three, so those can go together for a perfect pair. We can do pretty much the same for this diamond helmet. Our diamond chest plate's already perfect. I'm gonna make a new pair of boots and that's not what we want. So really cool tip I think a lot of people don't ever do is if you wanna re-roll your stuff, just put a book down and see what you can get, right? Now in this case, there's nothing that we want. We can grind down a pick. Fortune three, boots are kind of meh, but we can always keep re-rolling and eventually you get something good. Wow, nice. Feather falling three. Ah, okay. I'll bite on a new pair of boots. Efficiency four ax with unbreaking three. We've got some gear that is ready. Woo, beautiful. Oh, and a power four bow, but we're out. Okay, we won't enchant anything else. Those are good boots and that's basically a perfect set minus the mending. Let's go for this diamond shovel. That is a beautiful thing. We're geared up. Now I'd love to add mending gear, but we sadly just don't have enough levels. To me, I feel like the play right now is to actually go mining. Finally, a bit of resources. That fortune three is nice. Ah, uh, well, well, well. Oh, bit of redstone. Ah, well, I was here for obsidian. Really, just as, uh, as much ore as possible. Oh my God, why am I only finding ones? I think 
I want to go home. Okay, so I'm gonna get some furnaces going. I wanna do something kind of different. See, what would be cool is uh, a little something like that, you know? We could figure out a whole system down the road. Okay, well, I'm gonna go for mending. Uh, this is gonna suck. Yeah, I think this will be a little easier to do it out here. Ladies and gentlemen, can only afford two right now, but we have a mending librarian. Sadly for now, I still gotta keep him in his dirt hole. Okay, we've got enough for a third. And if we chop down a tree, uh, it's just enough for one more. So we have four mending things. I'm gonna go pick, axe, chest plate, and boots because they have feather fall. Nice. So it's day 28, and it's time for our first farm. We've already got this area up here flattened off, so we may as well make use of it. So I'll let you guys try and guess what this is gonna be. Okay, so any idea yet? We're gonna put water down here. So that's gonna push something down this way. Okay, so we're gonna need some campfires, four hoppers, and some chests. Okay, so they're gonna fall down here. This is our collection chamber. Hoppers go here, and then our campfires actually go on top like this. This is new to me, I've never done this before. Yeah, this looks really nice. Now for the tricky part. We need like eight million trap doors. Like 64, probably not gonna be enough. Okay, so we've got a bit of an elaborate trap door system going on here, and then more on top. Now for this build, we need carpet, which I don't currently have. But the great thing about playing in a regular Minecraft world is you could just go get these things. Like there's some more sheep over here. It's really that easy. So carpet is gonna go here. This is gonna make it so that spiders don't spawn in here. So apparently the way it works is for every four beds, you get one cat and that's eight. So we should be good. Okay, and so last, we just need to cover this entire area with trap doors. And if you haven't guessed it yet, what we're making is a gunpowder farm. We're going to make it so that only creepers will spawn in here. Skeletons and zombies won't spawn in this because it's actually a little too low for their heads, uh, but creepers will spawn in here perfectly. Perfectly. And as you can see, we need a lot of wood. <laughs> oh, sadly, it's not quite enough. So we'll do one more tree. Okay, there we go. That is one gunpowder farm. Okay, so it still doesn't seem like a cat has spawned, but we can grab some fish. Now we just need one more thing, which is scaffolding. So I'm just gonna build a portal over here. But sadly, I've currently only got enough for nine rockets. The little stick sell off. That will give us one more mending book. So that'll at least give us a mending elytra. Oh! Oh, there's a cat, there's a cat, there's a cat. Yay! Okay, so this is cat number one. So basically how it works is the creepers will spawn in here, the cat will scare them, and then they'll run over here and fall down and get burnt, and we get gunpowder. Now, more cats will spawn randomly, but we don't need to wait for that, because we need scaffolding, which is not found in the nether. We should be able to fly through a considerable amount of this. This is what we're looking for. You're asking why? Why would we go back to this nether fortress? What significance does this nether fortress have? Well, you see, when I was a we lad. I came here and I made a nether portal. And this nether portal led us to a crystal. And if you climb all the way out, you will find a jungle with bamboo for scaffolding. So we are going to collect as much as we can of this. Gotta head back. Okay, I feel like heading back is gonna be a little trickier. Aha! Oh my god, that went well. I genuinely can't believe I did that. There's a second cat. Oh, but look at that. Fresh stock, please. Yes. So this should give us a kitty. Nice. Back to scaffolding for a sec. We need uh, 113 scaffolding. That's gonna give us 24. Best way to do this. Probably the old-fashioned way. Oh wow, that was actually pretty quick. I mean, yeah, sure, this is a little dangerous, but it's so easy. Okay, that's 25. That is enough scaffolding. We just need to get this last cat tamed. That was easy. Okay, last thing before the scaffolding, this also does need slabs. Our cat is all big and grown up, which means we can push him on down. And that finishes that. Now I wonder, is it a good idea to lay scaffolding in a thunderstorm? I can just do it like this. Oh wow, scaffolding is OP. I've never used this before. But there, that's 113 blocks up. Oh my God, this is an incredible feat of technology. Why have I never used this? I think uh, putting a bit of water down might make me feel a little bit better about this. Okay, I'm gonna sleep this thunderstorm off. Oh man, look at that. Dang, we are going tall. Okay, wow. I'm gonna crank my chunks up. <laughs> Laggy, but look at that. In our little peninsula. 
Anyway, I'm gonna make a, a bit of a safer platform up here. It's daytime, so I'm just gonna AFK this for like five minutes and see if we get any creepers. Five minutes later. That's been about five minutes. I'll chuck on my elytra and... Whoa! Oh my god, it works! Oh, that's so hype! The creeper suffering. It's a beautiful thing. So I'm just gonna fly back up with some more wood. Yeah, and I'm just gonna make this uh, a little more safe. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, I just think I want glass up here. Okay, there's the glass. So this is our spot to chill. Uh, I'm gonna leave this for, let's say, 10 minutes the rest of the night and we'll be back. So I went a little too long, it's been about a day. Certainly sounds like it's going well. Ah, it's a pretty good amount of gunpowder. Now we've got half of the recipe. I'm gonna tackle this beach, but I'm not actually looking for sand right now. We're actually looking for sandstone. I'm gonna make a bunch of sandstone, gonna make a bunch of sandstone. I'm going to make some sandstone stairs. We're gonna make a sugar cane farm. This is a trick I saw from some random short on YouTube. So stairs on one side, other side sees sand. We basically just fill the rest in. This looks really stupid, but <laughs> somehow this is working. We take some sugar cane, break down our current sugar cane farm. Just as simple as that. And so this way, see when it's all done up, you go through it and you don't fall in the water. Yeah, looks great. Now with the sugar cane we have left, we can make some paper and that's a lot of rockets. So I'm gonna sleep this one off. And while we wait for that to grow, I think it's time we go on an adventure. Oh my God, we've got a village right on the side of this mountain. Definitely closer but still would have been harder to get them over from here. Oh, that's so cute, look at this. It's a little tiny, tiny, tiny edge of ice spikes. Oh, another village right over here. Ooh, is this an igloo? But it's not the igloo we want. Oh, no, it's not the igloo we want. It's all right, I bet we can find one still. Now, my elytra's actually getting a little busted. So I'm gonna make a fletching table. Okay, so we can sell some of these sticks. This will mend our elytra. We're gonna head back off. So, lot of frozen ocean. Can't say I'm too impressed. Well, it wasn't the most productive flight, but we did get some bread out of it and an OG Minecraft bed. But that's not the only thing we can do with gunpowder. Stocking sand for quite some time, we can make TNT. So, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm looking for ancient debris, uh, but this is a really bad area to try mining for it. This is kind of where this lava lake ends. We just need to keep pushing down. So, Y12, we are looking for ancient debris. Here's how we're gonna do it. TNT, one, two, three, four, five, and we repeat that. Here's to some netherite. I would say that that was unsuccessful. We'll try again. Here we go. Okay, if any of you watched Lucky Block Super Flat, you know that this is really bad odds. Here we go. Hey, finally. All right, one piece. I think I'm gonna try going a bit lower. Oh, nice. Okay, last run. I gotta say that really wasn't very good. While I'm here, I will take some black stone and I'm just gonna go on a bit of a nutty quest for one more piece of ancient debris. I truly think I'm living in an ancient debris world. <gasps> yes! No, is it only one? Oh, thank you, Gabe. Thank you. I have a renewed sense of purpose. Oh, oh man. I feel obligated to go for one more. And there it is. Beautiful piece of ancient debris. You know, I'm kind of curious where this is going to take us. Oh, right. This cave. Not when I can just fly over here. Well, that wasn't super successful, but we will have two pieces of netherite. There's our scrap, there's our ingots. We're gonna go chest plate and boots. Actually looking very cool. Okay, I need more logs. Cause it is time we finally finish our roof. So something like that. This is really tedious, but I think it is gonna look pretty good. Next part shouldn't be too bad. We just need to cover it over. Hate to say it, but we're gonna run out of wood. Coming along nicely. Beautiful. You can also fill in these pillars and there's a roof. So now I think it's time we finally <laughs> step up and make a staircase. I like that. So with this layer, we'll take our glass, grab some more log, and we're basically just gonna recreate our bottom floor. And something like that. What is the purpose of this place? Well, I'm glad you asked. Finally, we can make a space for our villagers. For now, everyone can come on out. Now I'm gonna gather some 
paper for some cartography tables. I don't really know what's going on here. There's all eight. So I've got all the villagers with no assigned job over here. I'm gonna slab these lads in. Don't want anyone getting wet or as I like to say, uh, escaping. Oh, what's up, my guy? Ah, <sighs> yeah, the, the, this guy's not all that useful when you have no restrictions. So we got a whole bunch of cartographers. For anyone that doesn't know, there are really good source of emeralds. Now you gotta start them off by selling them some paper. Once you get through that, you can sell them glass panes. It's like an okay deal, you know. 10, this is not bad. We can then use those emeralds to buy empty maps, maybe get this guy going along. But see, the real profit is gonna lie in when you infect these guys and then turn them back. Now we're a little ways away from that. So we're gonna take a little trip to the nearest beach and see all these lovely turtles. Well, we are just going to completely destroy this ecosystem. Like, you know, sometimes people want their nuance. It's a complicated story. Now this is very, very black and white. I am. I am a terrible human being, and I simply want to destroy this habitat for profit. Now, here comes the crew to rain on our parade, but honestly, we're chilling. Also, dang, that's a nice looking house. Okay, yeah, that's that's enough for now. Now, it's time we complete this system. This is how we're gonna do our little collection thing. So we're gonna have our hoppers facing into these three chests, and then furnaces, like so, do three more hoppers, and suddenly that's all the coal we have right now. So I'm gonna head on down into our mine. I don't know, 32, sure. Just looking for a bit of iron, a bit of coal. You know, we'll just happen to find both right beside each other. A little more right here. Ooh, here we have a cave. Think I've been here before. Oh, he's down for a bit of lapis. That is a really cool natural waterfall. Almost completely missed these. Oh my God. Dude, shout out respiration, first of all. Oh my God, I love 1.18. There's just so much stuff to explore. Hey. Oh my God, dude. So we have fuel for our furnace. We'll get our possessions cooking up. Once that's all through, we can get our sand going. And considering how small it is, that's a pretty good system we got going. We may as well make a fourth. Beautiful. Now as that cooks, I'm gonna head up to our tower and we're just gonna AFK this for like another day or so. So I went a little bit longer than expected, but I do think that it was worth it considering how much gunpowder we got. We just need to go grab some sand. This beach looks prime for destruction. That should be good enough. That's almost gonna give us a full stack of TNT. But this time I'm gonna be smart and I'll take my fire protection boots. Let's get us some netherite. Hey, that's gonna be a one. Hey, oh man, another one. Hey, oh my God, another one. So far, uh, not bad. Oh. <laughs> Okay, wow, that was lucky. There's a lava lake here, so I was like, okay, we'll go this way. Oh my god, it's another one. Hey, oh wow, another one. Okay, and that's it for the TNT. That's uh, that's really too bad. I feel like we could have done a whole lot better. So if we want to get netherite more efficiently, I think we're gonna have to make this farm bigger. <laughs> okay, well, so I'm just adding the scaffolding back, which is our final step. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. We're gonna head on up. So I'll wait half a day and we'll see how much this gives us. For half a day, that's no, not bad. I'd say it's just under double the amount of gunpowder we'd regularly get. We use the rest of what we got. Let's take some of our glass. Our cartography stand isn't really set up to run efficiently, but at this point, it's a bit of XP for our pick. So I'm gonna break this. And we're gonna try a new area for ancient debris. Nice. Okay, I think I've managed to tunnel my way down into beneath the lava lake. We'll give the TNT a go. Hey, another one. Hey, the thing I'm finding with TNT mining is that you really got to look around these edges. Got one. <gasps> Yes, okay, nice. Hey, this has been a much better session overall though. We'll finish this session up with a little bit of mining. <gasps> yes, all right. I think we should call it there. I'm gonna sell some glass. We'll buy one, make that two more mendings. That'll be a mending helmet, some mending leggings. That'll be our netherite. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Full netherite by day 50. 
As for tools, the only thing we really have maxed out is our shovel, so there we go. All we have left is pick, sword, axe, and hoe. Now I think it's time we divert our attention to profits. We need a spider eye, gunpowder, sugar, and mushroom. There's the fermented spider eye. Need a little more gold. There's eight apples. Just need to grab a zombie. I'm gonna let this lad on in. And I just, uh, I, I got somewhere to be. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah, just deconstructing this wall. Nothing to see here. Maybe doing a little bit of trim work. Now, we're, uh, Oh no! I can't believe you've done this! Okay, now, can we do one potion on these lads? Is that enough to get everyone? I'll do a second dousing just in case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Basically, we just gotta chill right here because if we go far away and someone converts, they'll get converted right back. We'll keep these guys over in this corner. Last thing we would want is for them to spawn in an iron golem. Sun's rising. Come on, guys. The old water trick. There's one. And while he is probably quite terrified, as long as I stay here, they won't attack him. All right, wow, that was pretty easy. So now that we've got the conversion process done, let's see what we can do. So these guys will buy maps for one now, which should be obviously much easier to level them up, then sell them glass to get more emeralds, and so on. Certainly nothing new, but it's a tried and true strategy. Best thing was, is that was a test run. We got a lot more glass where that came from. Whew. Now that is some glass. Let's move it. That's a lot of emeralds. That's a lot of blocks of emerald. Holy. Now I'm gonna grab a bow. A power four enchantment. There it is. Nice. Stack them together. And I'm gonna slap a mending down. So I had to do a bit of reorganizing. And I have two villagers that need a little convincing. So we'll hit him with the weakness potion, and there we go. There we go. Feel free to come on out. And now we'll get some more glass. The big, infamous, notorious one. Sadly, we're not gonna see a ton of that, but it's good to know that it is attainable. Wow, and there's level 35. Okay, now there's something I need, and wow, that was easy. Hello there, cows. All right, we've got some cows chilling, and that's actually going to be our final mending book we need. Smite four, not bad. Or we could do sharpness three. Get some more levels. Oh, looting three. Oh, that's really good. I hate knockback, but that's really good. Plus, if we take these other two swords, we can add that together, make another anvil, and that's pretty nice. Now I'm looking for a few more cows. This is going to be slow, but not impossible. And now it's a farm. I'm gonna wait the rest of the night up here. Sounds like gunpowder. So I'm gonna use these villager trades to get my pickaxe back up. And side note, there's a stack of emeralds. We only need 16 more pieces of ancient debris until we have the full set. I'm gonna give it a full day and that'll actually be a full stack of TNT. We are here for that ancient debris. That looks like a lava wall. This, however, is not. Hey, ooh, now that's a good start. Man, I think we've come to another lava lake. Woo, okay, we've got two pieces up here. Oh my goodness. And that's it for that blast. There we go. Got one more right here. Here we go. Nothing. Perhaps. Ooh, nice. Hey. Ooh, oh my goodness. Dude, this has been a good session. Oh, and look at that. We're back. Probably not gonna see much here, but okay. Fair enough. I'm just gonna clean through the middle section here. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Apparently we didn't. We'll go back though. Wow, apparently that was absolutely useless. Fortunately, we got more TNT. Hey, oh my dude. Oh man, what a good session. Oh my God, more? I'm not sure if previously we were having bad luck or now we're having good luck, but wow. That was something truly special. So there's our scrap, our ingots. Now this sword is ready, but the rest of our stuff is sadly not. We certainly could do some sales, but we're low on glass and the boys are kind of hurting right now. So we're heading back to the nether and doing something you're definitely not expecting. Hi there, that is actually something we need. See, this is what we're here for. Beautiful. Grab a few more pearls. Has anyone here made an end crystal before? We need four eyes of ender, four gas tears, and there it is. Because we're back at spawn, I'm gonna have to find a different stronghold. So now we're gonna play a fun game called How Fast Can I Kill the Ender Dragon?
Does the XP not count? Well, I just bamboozled myself. I mean, I'm, I'm glad we did that, but I, I thought that was gonna give me XP. Okay, we got a dragon egg, so that's cool. I guess I really am destined to be a glass salesman. At the end of the day, I, I guess it doesn't really matter. Because now we have enough XP for an efficiency four hoe, which is more than enough. And we can get a new axe, which, look at that, beautiful. Those go together perfectly. And then these picks go together perfectly. These go together perfectly. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Woo-hoo! Day 60, not bad. That, that is a near perfect perfect set of gear. Also, hey look, phase two could finally begin. Ladies and gentlemen, this spot right here is going to mark our beacon. We'll do some clearing. So here it is. There we have layer one. This actually brings me to a bit of a conflict. It would make a lot of sense to do a wither skeleton farm, but they're really complex and it would probably take at least 10 days to make. So I think at this point, it would make more sense to try to find a nether fortress in a soul sand valley or warped forest. Aha. Now I'm pretty sure that warped forests have better wither skeleton spawns. This feels like it's mostly a nether waste. <gasps> that is really exciting. Okay, nice. So with looting, there's a one in 20 chance for a wither skeleton skull. If we want a sextuple beacon, that means we gotta kill like 360 wither skeletons. Yes, the spawns definitely aren't terrible here, but it's certainly not great in here. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh my God, this is awful. Like we're so close now, but oh my God, I, I'm just on the edge of quitting. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little break, let some spawns come back in and uh, I, I don't know, let, let's, let's get some of this stuff. I do think I'm gonna wanna make a wither skeleton farm. So I, I just need to take a moment and do something that's not running through these halls for like eight seconds. <laughs> Wow, I have really managed to retransform this hallway. <laughs> Not bad. And we're back to it. <gasps> oh my god. That was literally my first kill. Oh, the streamer. Luck. Okay, so 42 wither skeleton skulls is really good odds. We got really lucky. <gasps> no way. That's got to be my streamer luck for today. I'm taking off. Woo, ha <laughs> ha. God, now I gotta find my way back. Oh, never mind. that was easy. No, wait a second. I think we're forgetting something. We may as well grab a bunch of it. The other nice thing to come with that is all the coal we got. Now I just need to make some strength potions. Need to head back here for a gas tier. Woo, no! You're the one. There it is. Beautiful. Three more potions. So there's our strength two. Add the gas tier. This is the last 45, but if we add redstone, so the regular version lasts 45, but if we add redstone, it's gonna give us one minute and 30 seconds. Last thing before we go into this fight, gonna level this man's up, and now he'll sell us golden carrots. We'll get a good night's sleep. This actually looks like a great spot for it. We've got our diamond sword for this fight. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, oh, I'm stupid. Guess who's out of arrows? <laughs> okay, now we are ready. Healing and regen. Here we go. Dude, regen is so nice. Okay, we're getting there. Whoa, that's some damage. That's some damage. That's some damage. Okay, let's heal up. Let's just heal up right now. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. That's why I'm taking damage. Oh my God. Oh, now it's over for this wither. I wasn't even wearing my chest plate. Strength. Okay, big damage, big damage. Big damage. Woo! There it is. I always gotta make it interesting for you guys. But seriously, did not mean to go into that with my elytra on. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, we are going to make a bit of glass. We'll do some sails. So that'll leave us with 16 blocks of emerald. Just gonna lay that down like that. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, here we have one beacon. There it is. At this point, we're just gonna go with the old speed. Cause who doesn't like speed? At this point, it's not very good. It, it, it'll only go to about here or so, but it's a great start. Look at the sunrise on two thirds of the way through this video. We're gonna use these levels on a new pickaxe. Oh my God, that's exactly what I was looking for. And we are gonna mine some gold. Oh, hey, so I actually missed a piece of ancient debris. But anyway, that is a really efficient haul. We'll get this stuff cooking, get some more glass sails in. And while I do have a little bit of coal left, 
Just gonna go out on a quick scouting party for a bit more. That's easy. Oh, I just did that all. <sighs> I am a silly boy. <laughs> Wow, this is really bizarre to see in Minecraft. Let's try this again. I don't know why, but that was more satisfying. So this will get us by for a bit. Now we've actually got enough for another netherite ingot. And dude, these boots have been putting in work. So we'll do a little mending and that'll be our 10th piece of netherite gear. I think for now, if we want a more sustainable source of coal, we're gonna have to head back to the nether. I've got a lot of stuff. So we're gonna do a big time explore and try to find a better nether fortress. If only it was a little more on the lava. So we found another soul sand valley, but sadly it feels like there's nothing here. I've managed to find myself back to the warp forest nether fortress. So I'll first tell you what I'm not going to do. This isn't gonna be some crazy elaborate farm. No, basically all I wanna try to do is just simply make a larger area for wither skeletons to spawn. I've never done this before and I have no idea if it's going to work. I'm just gonna build something like this. Okay, so that's not looking too bad. Hey, it's working. So to my understanding, this should basically force a lot more stuff to spawn, but it doesn't stop other mobs from spawning outside of this area. So I think we're just gonna make stone buttons. I'm gonna do some mining. This is going to be really tedious. We basically just have to cover as much surface area as we can with buttons. Hey! So I'm almost out of buttons. We've laid quite a few. Some decent spawns going on here. So I was starting to have an issue with magma cube spawning. So I've gone ahead and I built some nether brick walls. So apparently if you place these down like so, you can actually stop slimes from spawning in. That gives us something like this. Hey! Oh my god! That's some amazing luck. We've got one at home, so that's enough for another wither. I could spend some time, like, venturing away from that main area. We actually get a lot of spawns over here. Oh my god! Gosh, I wonder if we just took what we have left here. Okay, well, it's nothing crazy, but uh, we'll see if this attracts any more wither skeletons. Certainly seems like we've got more spawning in the area. Nothing over here, though. Whoa, did I ruin it with these posts? Okay, I'm gonna take half of them away. We'll see if things spawn on this side. And in the meantime, we can lay more buttons. Oh, this is looking dangerous. Definitely working though, but they're clearly not spawning where I have these set up. So let's head over to our other area and nothing. Interesting. We do seem to be getting a lot more spawns though. Like not necessarily in that exact area, but just kind of all around. There it is. Yes. I'm gonna start killing these guys just to sort of force spawns. Yeah, the spawns are really good over here. This is so effective, but so scary. <laughs> Hey! So that makes five, and that makes six. Just gonna sell some glass. There's 24 more blocks of emerald. We do have gold. Actually, we should have, yeah, a lot of gold. So that's correct, right? Yes. Okay, full beacon, nice. Now let's just be honest, you know how a wither fight is gonna go. So we're just gonna do this the fast way, and that is the very dirty bow technique. <laughs> Okay, and we take our sword, and there you have it. Easy. One more. Oh, you're stuck. Gotta love regen with a beacon, <laughs> and there it is. Poor guy really didn't have a chance. Wither kill count, three. There's two more beacons. Just gonna get as many emeralds as I can. So let's see where this puts us. Doesn't feel like it's, it's right, but it is, right? Hey! So that's gonna give us level one of everything in a 50 square radius. So I'm gonna make a little boundary marker. So here's one furthest corner. There's a little more. Okay, that denotes our beacon. Day 75 and we are feeling pretty good. Now I think I'd like to switch gears here for a little bit. I wanna start on a little bit of landscaping, make our area look nice. A specific type of uh, vibe here. Thinking something kind of like this. And then every so often using a log to place a torch on. We've got some stone cooking up, right? So you can kind of see what we're going for. So here's kind of the start of what I've got going. At the very least, I'd like to at least connect this to it. Cool, I like the look of that. We'll have the main areas a little bit wider. I don't really know where this is going yet, but it's a walkway and another walkway to nothing. So at the very least, we could have something going to our sugarcane farm. 
That was a lot of lawn mowing, but sometimes even all powerful figures gotta do a little bit of that. For now, I think the last path that I should make is to our really distant portal. And unfortunately that means yes, we gotta make a bridge. So something like that, something like that, and for a last little touch, a little something like that. Sweet! So last night I finally made a roof and I enchanted smite four and looting three diamond swords. We're gonna add these together and then add these together and there it is. Two very good swords. Now I do think I wanna change this just slightly. I just wanna put a little glass in for now. I think that looks fine. It's just something for a little more light. I don't love this storage system. Yeah, I don't know. This is kind of terrible, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out one day. Like maybe if I made a part two? Seriously, you should subscribe. These videos take a really long time. So before we head back to the nether, I think I'd actually like to give another shot at mining. You know, the 1.18 update is pretty cool. <gasps> Come on. Dude, I would just like to thank Streamer Luck for this video. That's a hot six diamonds. And we're gonna continue on down really far. Oh, you know, no big deal. Just a few more diamonds. Okay, literally a diamond. So I hear really good things about mining at low levels. Seems like a place with a lot of lapis and redstone. Okay, so that really didn't procure any diamonds. We're just gonna try a classic strip mine. Hey! Wow, these are not, oh, 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 okay. We're up to 17, and there's a few more. That's amazing. Here we have the rare eight vein. Okay, so we've connected it in one giant rectangle, and now we can basically just strip mine straight through this. Okay, we've got four more. I'm just about out of torches, so we'll dump some stuff off. Gonna make some torches. And I'm gonna do a little mining up top for iron and coal. Actually, I just realized I can get myself haste too. And the beacon will reach me down here. Now we can mine really fast. Look, look at this. <laughs> Literal butter. And I have found myself into another cave system. Now on the bright side, we got a lot of iron to smelt. And while we wait, I'm gonna get another librarian. So this is a little non-traditional for us, but because we still have one of them fancy ocean monuments to deal with. I'm looking for Aqua Affinity and Depth Strider. Oh, that was quick. So that'll go on the protection boots. I've actually never used this before, but that's pretty cool. Now, what if I'm like underwater? I'm fast and I can walk pretty fast. That is actually really cool. We could just keep trying through the night for Aqua. Oh my God, that was so fast. Where does Aqua Affinity go? Is it the helmet? Yeah, okay. And what does Aqua Affinity do? Underwater mining speed. Now we can walk fast. Stay underwater forever because we have respiration three and we can yeah, okay. Oh wow. That's that's quick Now since we're kitted for the water I want to go find uh, one of those temples that spawn drowned because if we're gonna take on an ocean monument Well, we're, we're gonna need a trident. Well, there's an ocean monument right there I think what we're looking for is a underwater ruin and it doesn't seem like they spawn in this kind of ocean This looks like it. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Whoa, let's get looting. Well, that was amazing, but we didn't get anything. Couple buried treasure maps. So there's a 6% chance that it'll spawn with a trident. And with looting three, an 11.5% chance for it to drop that trident. So for the time being, let's go find some treasure. Right here. Joke's on the game, I always need sand. Aha. Ladies and gentlemen, there we have one heart of the sea, a block of TNT and potions of water breathing. Now I'ma just head on back. I wonder if that was one of those things where like a bunch spawn right when you get there, but that only happens once. Oh, someone's throwing stuff at me. Hey, we got two. Okay, nothing and nothing. Ugh, but the Nautilus shell drop, of course. I assume I can't just you know, pick this up, huh? No, okay. They do seem to just be everywhere. This is a completely brand new subject for me. So I've done a bit of research and I think I actually have the perfect area to make a drowned farm. So you can see this is the edge where plains becomes river. So here's our base area. Next, we need to add some layers. Also, just a heads up, this is another project I've never done before. We also need walls. Next, we fill this in and more glass over top. Oh, hey. You know, the funniest thing ever 
would be if this guy gave me a trident. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Now, I use trap doors, but I think what we actually want are signs. This is because signs will let mobs through, but not water. Okay, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> okay, I might try the rest of this with gates. Signs are just really tedious. Way easier. So I'm pretty sure if we put water down. Yeah, nice. It doesn't go in, but I can fall through. So now we're gonna go all the way to Y139. Hey, not a bad looking spot. So my understanding is that we're gonna put water up here, which will flow down into our bottom area. We're basically just gonna fill this whole thing in. That looks good. And now we basically just wanna break all these bottom blocks. So you see we've made a giant water, like, cube thing. So there's a top layer. The last thing we want to do is just kind of slab this up a bit. So I'm hoping that that's enough, but more importantly, I'm hoping that this actually works. Anyway, at this point, it uh, does not seem to have done anything. So this upper area now should be dark enough that drowns spawn in it, but we're not getting anything to spawn here. Let's see what happens at night. Like no squid, no fish, literally nothing. While we're chilling, let's grab some iron. I have not forgotten about our beacon. We're gonna attempt to make this a layered beacon. We're not quite there with diamonds, but it's pretty close. I mean, from here, it, it looks real. So we just need 45 diamonds and we'll be done with our beacon. As for this, uh, well, it's it's clearly not working. We might be better off just exploring the riverbed. At least there's some drowned here. <laughs> it spawned one. <laughs> Wait, I think I might know what the problem is. I think with a lot of these spawners, you need to go far enough away so that nothing is spawning around the map. And I'm wondering if that's the deal with this. Kind of like the same idea as going up there to get creepers to spawn regularly. I'll give this a few minutes. Okay, nothing. We do have them spawning down here. Oh, we have lots spawning down here. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Ha ha, nerds. This blocked off the light level for guys to spawn below us and it actually kind of works. <laughs> That'll also put us at four Nautilus shells, which we actually need to make a conduit. Next, we need to sell some glass for XP. Now that's gonna get us close, but not quite to 30. We can start the enchanting process. Loyalty three, perfect. Now, I don't have any more trades left for the day. I'm just gonna try for some more Nautilus shells. Thinking I should maybe even go a little bit higher. I see no Nautilus shell holders. I don't think they can drop them normally. So yeah, I don't know, the conduit might not happen. Can't really spend my last 10 days doing something that may or may not work. So let's get down to business. There's loyalty three, just loyalty three, but we can add mending. I'll spend the rest of the day with this new librarian and hopefully we can get impaling. Oh my God, another mending. Hey, I think there's an impaling five. There is. So we've got a cracked trident, really good armor, two potions of water breathing, along with spruce fences, all that stuff to breathe underwater. We'll grab some milk for mining fatigue. Honestly, I think I'm ready. Okay, there it is. We'll launch an amphibian invasion using our boat. My pig won't really work in there. And while a conduit would be great, potion of water breathing should make up for that. Oh wait, one more thing. Just add redstone. Now it's eight minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're ready. We are gonna drop off and go straight down into here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I've never even been inside of one of these before. Woo. Oh, oh my God. Okay, there's the jump scare. Potion of water breathing. Yeah, you basically, you can mine stuff, but it's, it's pretty much not gonna happen. So if we pop this down, as you can see, that'll get us our hearts back. Oh man, this is so cool. My God, this is an absolute maze. Oh, oh. There's a big boy. Yes. Okay, there we go. One down. That's two to go. Oh, 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 I got it. Nice. That's two down, one to go. Dude, this is way more intense than the Ender Dragon fight. Like the amount of prep alone. I need to start blocking off places I've been. Hey, it's a sponge room. Oh, there it is. Oh no, I can't get up here. Okay, there it is. There it is. There's the final one. Oh. Nice. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have cleared this temple. So I'm just gonna wait for my mining fatigue to go away. That's why, oh, never mind. I brought milk, right. <laughs> gonna drink my last potion. So here's our first sponge room. To my understanding, this is the best piece of loot in here. Which, I mean, all things considered is, is honestly a little bit lame. I think there's also something in here. 
Yeah, eight blocks. That's kind of lame, but okay. So apparently there's a bunch of sponge rooms, but I've only been able to find one. So yeah, I'm going to say that's probably everything, which is a little bit unfortunate, but hey, that's all right. Peace out, nerds. That is going to mark all 1.18 Minecraft bosses defeated. So now I've just got a few things left to do. Next topic is diamonds. Hello, diamonds. One more vein, just to be sure. Ladies and gentlemen, with more than enough, we have one multi-layered beacon. And now all we have left to do is fill it. Yes! Dude, that was awful. Hello, world. So just for reference, we killed 250 wither skeletons. We've gotten 18 skulls. Over 250 is actually insane odds. I just want a good sleep tonight. Now this is it, guys. Wither one. Wither two. And wither three. Woo! And ladies and gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. There you have it. Speed two, haste two, resistance two, jump boost two, strength two, and of course, that juicy regeneration. There it is. We'll watch the sun set on our 99th day. We'll watch the sun come up on day 100. Our goal is to hit a million subs by the end of the year. So please subscribe. Thank you for watching. And here's another video.